of a shark. You only run for the border when you see the whole city running as well. Your neighbor is running faster than you, the boy you went to school with, who kissed you dizzy behind the old tin factory, is holding a gun bigger than his body. You only leave home when home won't let you stay. No one would leave home unless home chased you. Fire under feet, hot blood in your belly. It's not something you ever thought about doing. And so when you did, you carried the anthem under your breath, waiting until the airport toilet to tear up the passport and swallow each mouthful of paper, making it clear that you would not be going back. You have to understand, no one puts their children in a boat unless the water is safer than land. Who would choose to spend days and nights in the stomach of a truck unless the miles traveled meant something more than journey? No one would choose to crawl under fences, to be beaten until your shadow leaves you, raped then drowned, forced to the bottom of the boat because you are darker, be sold, starved, shot at the border like a sick animal, be pitied, lose your name, lose your family, make a refugee camp a home for a year or two or 10, stripped and searched, find prison everywhere. And if you survive and you are greeted on the other side with go home, blacks, refugees, dirty immigrants, asylum seekers, sucking our country dry of milk, dark with their hands out, smell strange, savage, Look what they've done to their own countries. What will they do to ours? The dirty looks in the street, softer than a limb torn off, the indignity of everyday life, more tender than 14 men who look like your father, insults easier to swallow than rubble, than your child's body in pieces. For now, forget about pride. Your survival is more important. I want to go home. But home is the mouth of a shark. Home is the barrel of the gun. And no one would leave home unless home chased you to the shore. Unless home tells you to. Leave what you could not behind, even if it was human. No one leaves home until home is a damp voice in your ear saying, leave, run now. I don't know what I've become. I want to thank you all for coming here today. organized a week ago. Yeah. By children of refugees, children of immigrants, immigrants themselves, and look what we created. Yeah. We created a sanctuary for all of us to share our stories. And I urge you all to contact your elected officials Hold them accountable, write to them, call them, pester them. That's what they're there for. Let our voices be heard and let Donald Trump know that we will not stand for his executive orders because anyone can just sign their pen on anything. He is just a celebrity and he will not tell us what our country stands for.